Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Woodbury Farm basement where I have my seed starts. Today, I'm going to show you how to uh, distinguish between pepper and tomato seedlings and how I water my seed starts. So let's get started. So here I have my lights set up. Now these should probably be a little bit closer to the plants than they are. These are really quite robust lights as you can see. They actually have six bulbs in there. They're old, an old uh, shop light from an old building. And, and they're really pretty robust, but they could stand to be another six or so inches closer to the plants. You can see that some of these, I have just like one tray too many, and I, I rotate these three trays every day so that they get a little closer. But you can see some of these are maybe just a little bit leggy, a little bit stretched here, you know. Um, when I transplant these tomatoes, I can bury those a little bit deeper. I have some nice deep pots that I'll be using to transplant these. But one of the things I want to show you today is the difference between pepper and tomato seeds or seedlings because the seeds are different, but when they very first come up, the cotyledons are really, really similar. And so you can see here is that is a pepper seedling and that is a tomato seedling. Now they're in the same family, they're Solanaceae family, they're very closely related and so that explains why they look quite similar but then once the leaves start to come out there are some tomato seedlings and down here are some pepper seedlings with their first leaves coming out. And, and they are quite different once the leaves emerge. There's some larger peppers. And right there is a rogue tomato. I have no idea where that thing came from. I don't know what it is, so I'll plant it as a mystery tomato and we'll see what we get. But if you look at, oh, I gotta show you one more thing here while I'm at it. There's my fan. And a fan is very helpful to provide some of that natural you know wind and to kind of help get these plants nice and strong and you can see i have this on oscillate and it really does hit the entire table as it goes back and forth and so uh i have this hooked in with my lights and it'll be on whenever the lights are on which is right now 12 to 14 hours a day okay so if you look at the pepper plant and the tomato plant these two right here you can see that the pepper plant is smooth, the stem is smooth, the tomato plant is hairy. And that is one of the biggest differences between peppers and tomatoes. And that's true from right when they emerge. You know, if you look at all these pepper seedlings, the stems are smooth, the cotyledons are smooth. These are a black or purple type of pepper and that's why they have that purple color to them. And so that's, that's how you tell the difference between pepper and tomato seedlings. Look at these little guys. It, you know, it's, it's very lightly hairy, but right away they have a little bit of hair on them. You look at these pepper seedlings and they really don't. Okay, so that's how to tell the difference. Oftentimes the, the tomato leaves are just slightly hairy also. The cotyledons, these first these first leaves that come out, these are the cotyledons, and the pepper cotyledons are smooth. But they're in the same family. They're very, very closely related, and that's why they look so similar. And then once the, again, once the new leaves start to emerge, then they're really quite easy to tell apart. Look at the difference between that tomato right there and that pepper right there. That one's not a very good one, but there's one right there. It's better. Okay, on to watering. Hope that was helpful. Let's see if I can set this. Oops. Little stand here. Okay, so I love this little watering can. 
because it has this nice little hole. It's really quite small. And it gives me a nice amount of water. So what I'll do is, first of all, I'll take and wait until the top of the soil has gone fairly dry. You can tell by, you know, how, how much the tray weighs. But my favorite way is once this soil starts to turn dry. So this one here could be watered. If it doesn't get water in maybe 12 hours, it's probably going to be too late. This one here... This one really needs some water now, and that seed hasn't even germinated yet, so I want to make sure that it doesn't get too dry. So if you look at these trays, most of them are, you know, mostly gray on the top. This potting soil turns gray. And you do have to learn your soil. If you're using, you know, a different kind of soil than you used to use, you, you have to learn what your soil does as it gets dry. And what I'm going to do, because these are fairly, fairly dry, I'm just going to go in here and I'm just going to go down and around and make sure that I get every cell and come back again. Now, if I had a tray like this one right here, some of these cells are really quite damp. And because this is such a nice, small, little... Uh, hole here I can individually water but look all of these need a nice drink and so if I had a, a tray set up I try and keep my soil uh, consistent as far as the volume of soil so that if um, I have to water one generally I have to water them all it just makes it easier for watering purposes and back around and I'm turning lights on and off and checking these twice a day so uh, I knew last night that I would have to water them this morning and I can come back tonight and if there's anything that I missed yeah it'll probably still be okay tonight if I missed it oh I missed this one down here we'll give that one just a little bit more there and this watering can if I don't let them get too dry I usually can water you know depends on how big the plants are. Once they get into the three inch pots, I'll only be able to water one plant. Now, as far as water is concerned, I like to save rainwater from my rain barrels and I just save it in recycled jugs. And uh, in the winter time, if I run out of rainwater, then I have a dehumidifier. And if you have a dehumidifier, that water is essentially distilled water. So I'll use that too. Determining or identifying pepper and tomato seedlings and watering plant starts. Have a great day, everyone.